Have you ever wondered what it's like around Wembley? Well, today you're in luck, because we're going to find out. I wouldn't want to live there, because the whole thing came down. I don't know. That's a 635 CSI. I always like them. I'm there, you're there. They always look cool. This is my kind of industrial estate, look at it. Yeah, I know. If I was John Hicks. Oh, that was nearly a collision. I'd be straight down there now, wouldn't I? How cool is that? But I'm not. <laughs> I'm sure it was him. He was just messing with me. Okay, so realistically, this is the road to Wembley. And yeah, see, you can just see a little bit of the arch up there. So let's get up a bit closer. Now, a bit of a disclaimer. I am not a massive football fan. Nope. I'm just here in Wembley because it's Wembley. And it's probably a really interesting place. So I think it's somewhere that we should feature on SCSI London. And that's why we're here. Look up ahead. You can see these new builds in the distance. That will be Wembley Park, I would think. It's kind of the beginning of the main high street of Wembley, which is just up ahead here. <laughs> Bumps in the road. There's a place there called Jenga Court. I wouldn't want to live there. In case the whole thing came down. <sighs> yeah, this is the high street proper. Wow, this block of flats is amazing. Some serious brickwork. Okay. Yeah, this is the proper high street now. Wembley High Street. A busy little place. Even on a Sunday. Uh, like many areas of London, it's all going on here on a Sunday. It doesn't stop. Right, let's get on the pavement. I know you love me doing that. <laughs> Only because we're going to have a very quick look here. We've got this is Wembley Central. So, what do we got? Underground, overground, wombling free, they're all here. Wembley Central. And there's obviously a big shopping parade here in Wembley Central. There was a time when I needed to get a train to work and I would get off there and get a bus from here. And this bus would take me down to Alperton, somewhere down this direction. Okay, so where do I go? It's a very Indian Asian area and there are curry houses and things everywhere. And it sure does smell nice. Where should we turn? So we've got the hill. There is a park up here somewhere. Let's see if I can find that. Well, this must be it. It's not the one I was thinking of, but it's a park. It's called Barham Park, apparently. Is it anything interesting? Does it have any history? I don't know. We're making this up. Right, is it too faded to read? Oh, how to walk it. I'm there, you're there. Barham Park. This is Brent Council, by the way. So, so Wembley is, of course, in the borough of Brent, one of many London boroughs. So when I lived in Harlesden, I was living in Brent. Long walk, short walk. Long walk, <laughs> wow, okay. The long walk, 0.6 miles. The short walk, 0.5 miles. <laughs> yeah, let's have a little look. Sometimes gauge a place by its parks. So let's have a look at it. What we got? Pine trees, fir trees, some of them twisted. It feels quite nice. I think when you come off a high street, which is really hectic and busy, any little bit of calmness afterwards feels really nice. And this feels great. It's actually a really nice space. It feels almost like a common, you know, a bit sort of, this has been left back to nature a bit. Let's go up this bit. More memorial again. Oh, I can smell candy floss or something. Look, that's a ghost train. Check it out, there's the ghost train. Well, we won't be going in there, but I am going up here. Jubilee Garden, hmm. Looks like it's seen better days. This is quite tidy. I wonder what's in here. Oh, wow, this is quite nice. It says no bikes, but you know, I'm going, I couldn't go any slower. This is quite nice, well kept. Barham Park, check it out. It's got its own walled garden. A sleeping man. Let's get out before I get arrested by these cops. Oh, they're coming for me. Riding around in a walled garden. 
that's me done. Well, what can I tell you? Not a great deal. This is a bit of a spur of the moment thing, this one. Well, what I can tell you is Wembley is eight miles or about 13 kilometers from Charing Cross, northwest of Charing Cross, which as we know by now, is a reference point for distances from central London. So the plan is, we're up here now in Barham Park, gonna try and head a little bit north of here first, just check out a bit of the residential areas to see what we can make of it. Then we're gonna come back down, go back down the main road into Wembley Central, uh, a little bit beyond, and then head to the stadium and see what's going on around that area. And that is the bit that we've really come to see. Let's crack on. Well, while we're dishing out a few facts about Wembley, as you may have seen already, and you will see some more of, it's a very ethnically diverse area. And in the 2011 census, 86% put down on the census that they were of BAME origin. Now, if I've got that right again, since my Harlesden trip, that is black, Asian, minority, ethnic. So yeah, that's what Wembley's all about. 86%, it's quite a height, which you'll probably see as we go around. Wow, I'm getting flashbacks. I remember this roundabout. I used to come up here <laughs> with a motorbike because there used to be a motorbike shop somewhere in the area, and I can't remember where, but it was up here and right around this roundabout. M&P might have been. All the usual high street shops. Well, actually not all the usual high street shops. All the unusual high street shops. Uh, just a little town park. Yeah, Sudbury, okay, we've made it to Sudbury. Okay, so we're including a little bit of Sudbury in our Wembley episode. <laughs> I don't know what the hell we're gonna do. Sudbury's not really part of the plan, so we're gonna, we're gonna back out of it. I'm gonna hang a left down here, which is, yeah. which is part of the plan. And then we can see what Wembley's got. I've never been into BMWs, but I always liked the look of them. That's a 635 CSI, I always liked them. Never a big BMW fan, but they always look cool. That's a project for somebody. I managed to pick a one-way street again. Go any other way. I'm telling you, I've got a knack for this. You're wondering why I'm on the pavement, because it's a one-way street going that way. And I can't be arsed to mess around going to find the one going the right way. All right. Roller. <laughs> it's my arse on the line, not yours. So the postcodes in Wembley are generally HA0 and HA9. And we happen to be in HA0 right now. Just kind of normal housing, really. I don't know what to say about it all. It's just a normal residential area. We're kind of in the west of, of Wembley itself, anyway. Yeah, I do believe this is probably quite a nice area. So this is North Wembley, okay. This is new to me. What we got? Oh, I know, I know this place. I'll tell you why. Because somewhere in here used to be a place I used to send my <laughs> I used to used to be a place I used to send my cheap Pentax cameras to be fixed all the time. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, doesn't look exciting, but let's see. This is painfully boring, to be honest. I apologise for the tediously boring content right here. Let's get out of here. Right, park number two, King Edward VII Park. There's the gym again, people using it. I like to see people using these things. That's great, it means it wasn't a total waste of money. This track looks too irresistible for the big house at the top. So, let's go have a look. That's the football dude. Well, this is King Edward VII Park. A big space, kids play area, tennis courts, Gym, basketball court maybe, common land, lots of greenery. Right, this fluid plan of ours keeps changing. I've got another plan now. I'm gonna go down here, out this way, and come at it from another direction. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, people like me only. When was the last time you saw a wimpy? So this is Wembley Park, this is the new build area. And it is mega, flippin' heck. They're everywhere now, it seems. I keep finding them. Oh, I think I've got to get in there. Look at all this. Hmm. 
It is impressive, fair play, they've done a good job. It could, mate, it could be Spain or France, you're right. It could be anywhere. This looks like a busy little area. What's going on here? Ooh, something happening. Oh, oh okay. What a find. <laughs> what a find. How about that? What a way to find it. And there we have it. The arch. Let's have a little walk through this and see what's going on at this market. It looks really nice. It's like one of those futuristic films. It's really weird. Ugh. I want to look at these. These look really cool. Old Russian binoculars. Oh, these are amazing. Wow. Shinon. <laughs> My first camera was a Shinon. Well, that there, that is the walk you do when you get off at the station somewhere down that way. And you walk all the way up here with hundreds of thousands of people heading to a sporting event, a gig, a whatever it is you're going to. And then you come around here and you go in there, up and in to Wembley. What we got coming up? Green Day. Look at that, that's so cool. I think that deserves a picture. Right, let's see if we can do the walk up these steps. This could go well, could be a disaster. Let's try. Oh no, I think it'll be all right. My bike's pretty light. I can even run it Rocky style. Look at that view when you get here. This is the first time I've seen it. Empty, that's not empty by any means, but it's not full like you normally see it. When you normally come here, that is just crammed. People the whole way, it's amazing. People live here, right there, right there, and right there. It's unreal, I can't imagine what that's like. I just saw ACDC advertised, power up. right in there, you can hear it all for free. This is so flipping futuristic, it's unreal. Well, there can't be a better place to tell you about Wembley Stadium. The old Wembley Stadium was on this site and it stood there from 1923 until 2003. The new Wembley Stadium, which is the one behind me, was built on the same site and it opened in 2007. Officially on the 9th of March, 2007. Of course, Wembley is England's national football stadium and it's a 90,000 seater stadium, which makes it the biggest stadium in the UK, but the second biggest in Europe, next to Barcelona. And that arch we can see behind me, that stands at 134 meters or 440 feet high. Not only is it aesthetically, I can't say that. Not only is it aesthetically pleasing and can be seen from all around the area, it also supports 75% of the weight of the roof of the stadium. It's quite an impressive thing. The architects were, of course, Norman Foster and Partners, very famous architects in London and the world, in fact. Other architectural classics such as the Gherkin in London, Hong Kong Airport, uh, Millennium Bridge in London, Stansted Airport, Canary Wharf Tube Station. They all have that sort of slightly futuristic feel look about them, I think. The first ever music concert was held here by George Michael on the 9th of June 2007. I've seen concerts like ACDC and Eminem, Madonna, Metallica. Oasis, they've all played here. So I've made journeys up here from Swansea just to see bands. I came to see ACDC. I don't even remember what year it was. I may have even have seen them twice here. I think I've seen Metallica here. I've seen quite a few bands in here. And this, is, uh, this area is called Wembley Park. And the regeneration of this started around the mid 2000s. And by the looks of it, people are loving living here. Right, let's have a little ride around. Got gardens, nothing. like Blade Runner. You got that there, you got this here. This arch is super impressive, I have to say. Welcome to Wembley. I can't begin to imagine what it's like to live in there. I really can't. Well, that is an unusual view of the arch, fair play. Somewhere in Wembley is a Wembley drum centre. Really well known, if you're a drummer, you will know about the Wembley drum centre. And just a couple of famous names from the area. Charlie Watts, drummer from the Rolling Stones, Keith Moon, drummer from The Who. Is there a connection? We've got a big designer outlet thing down here. Oh, look at this. Mini tennis courts going on. 
some sort of racquetball thing. A groovy car park. So cool to be this close to the arch, you can actually touch it, you know? Oh, I do like a bit of engineering. There you go. A couple of other famous names from the area then, from Wembley. Lenny Henry, the comedian. Henry Cooper, some other Henry, the boxer. But the best one of all for me, a bit of an obscure one. Gary Holt. Right, who's Gary Holt? Well, if you're from a certain age group and a certain era, you might remember one of the best TV programs ever of the day. I'll be the same pet. And Gary Old played, well, London they called him, amongst other things, but that was one of his names, because he was a cockney. It's a cool building. The Oval Arena. I think I've been there for gigs too. Let's just ride to the future. The future, the future, the future. Welcome to Wembley, yet again. Bobby Moore and ACDC in the same image. 3rd and 7th of July. I actually might have to look for tickets for that. I think I first ever saw ACDC here in this stadium way back in the day. I can't really miss an opportunity to see him again, can I? And I've seen him in between. I came here with Matt, that's right, with a friend of mine. If I can dig that picture up, I'll put it, I'll put it up. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I know. If I was John Hicks, I'd be straight down there now, wouldn't I? But I'm not. <laughs> well, this is what it's like around here. Kids everywhere having fun. Trying to keep out of people's ways. And if it was really quiet, it's a great place to have fun on the bike. It ain't that quiet, there's people everywhere, so I'm not going to be a hooligan, tempting as it is. Let's get down this direction. Oh, let's go over there, that looks good. Between the bollards. So if you come here, you can stay in this Ibis Hotel and you go to see your concert or your football match or the Premier Inn next to it. There you go. Not that I'm advertising for those guys, but you know, if you want to be real close to the ground, there's your options. Plenty to eat and drink around here. You don't have to go anywhere. I think I can get it. Tap out. Right. Back down to the high street. Ah, that's it. That's the end of the futuristic bit of Wembley. Yeah. We are back out on the high street. Kind of. One of these roads I want to turn it down. Let's try this one. I think this is my road. Hmm. A bit of dealing going on, but you know, that's normal. Another tower sticking up. That's right, the towers of Harlesden and the power station. I know where I'm headed. Straight through this park here. Oh, that was nearly a collision. <laughs> oh, and the irony bike against bike that would have been. Well, well, well. Well, we crossed the River Brent once again, which is not flowing as much as it was last time. And there's still no shopping trolleys in there, so very good.